This is the Photo Deox lens mount adapter that mounts from Sony E mount to Canon FD for your Sony A7 series camera or A6000 or NEX. Here's the adapter itself. Um, you've got the got a red dot on this side, and on this side, you've got you know your silver flange, and you have another red dot. But if you look, you can see right there that's a little post that sticks out. It's important. Uh, this is the the lock, so it's your aperture lock, and you can see right there. You know. This way is locked, this way is open. You want it open when you're trying to mount it to the lens. So we're going to explain exactly what that does right here. That's lock, that's open. Lock, open. So open goes this way, lock goes that way, just so we're clear. That's important because this pin right here that sticks out interacts with the aperture control. So it's going to be, you know, pretty important that you get that straight. So we've got our red dot. We've got our red dot. And it's clicked. Now we want to go ahead and lock it. So I'm going to twist this ring and you can watch the pin and that mounts the aperture control. So to give you an idea of what that what that means, we put on F32. If I open it, it's wide open. But when you close it, it closes down to F32. Now, when it's open, just to make this super clear, we're going to adjust the aperture ring. See, the mount is on, but there's no aperture control because you can see the pin, the pin is not engaging the aperture control. So that's why you lock it. So now we locked it in and there you go, you got your controlled aperture. We're going to go ahead and mount this to the Sony. So you got your red dot, white dot, red to white. And there you go. It's mounted. And it's ready to shoot. And the next thing we'll have to do is we'll have to go into the menu system if you want to use IBIS. So if I have a Sony A7 II here, I want to go into the menu system and I need to tell the Sony that it has a 200 millimeter lens attached to it because it doesn't know because this is a 40 year old lens that doesn't pass electronic data back and forth. So we'll need to tell image stabilization in the camera, I have a 200 millimeter lens. So we'll do that now. Go into the menu, go to the camera tab, item number seven, go down to steady shot settings, and set your focal length for 200 millimeters. Then you're set, so now you have image stabilization with your manual focus lens. Now to remove this lens, uh, from your camera, relatively easy. Find this button here, press it in, and it removes itself from the adapter. I don't find one being easier than the other, and then of course this just unmounts like that. Now you can unmount the camera without moving the lock ring. So you probably noticed I didn't worry about it, and that's fine. But before you mount it, you need to be absolutely sure it's to the open. You do not want that pin interfering with aperture control because you're going to break either this, this pin or, or you may mess up your aperture control on your FD mount.